Poodle. Honey, I'm home. Hi, John. Hey. You look like you have something to tell me. I do. Is it a raise? God, no. Tomorrow's Saturday, right? Yeah. Is it okay if we go to a party? Is it like a another purse party? No, it's one of those crazy parties. You want to go to this? Why? Because Sandra's my friend and I promised her I'd go. Sandra is annoying. <laughs> you go with me? I don't know. You gotta protect me from all those rapists. Fine. Yay! <laughs> I decided to take a walk that next day, a little breather before the night came, along with Sandra's party. Colleen was afraid of going to those parties, as her father was an alcoholic, and she was afraid of getting raped at those things. Her friends coaxed her into going, but she wanted me to go with her to protect her. I really didn't like her annoying friends, but I promised I would go just to protect her from any asshole who decided to spike the punch. I was trying to be the best boyfriend possible, but I couldn't promise everything. Oh, it could be more fun than patrol. Keep an eye out for a black-haired male about 6 feet tall, 140 pounds, and an earring. Suspect has been charged with multiple accounts of murder. Alright, might as well do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me, sir. May I ask you where you're going? Who are you? Uh, I'm from the Chicago Police Department. Why might you want to take us for a ride with us to the station? I didn't do anything. We'll just uh, clarify that at the station, shall we? What? Time is wasting. Who's the stair? They said I matched the description of a murderer who killed a woman or something like that. I insisted that he was mistaken, but the cops didn't believe me for some reason. I was urgent. I had to go and see Colleen. Next thing I knew, the cop took me down to the station and I had to a mugshot taken. I was desperate with that damn cop, but he said it would take some time to clear me. I sat in that cell pondering when I would leave, when I would see my Colleen again. She was by herself at that stupid party and I felt terrible. I promised her that I would go, and I let her down. I immediately cherished our old days at the fireplace and prayed for God to get me out soon so I could show her that I can keep my promise and that I can be there for her. Even God left me there as the night passed on.